Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Yeah, good morning, uh, dear viewers, and praise the Lord. Welcome to our morning devotion, this particular day which the Lord has made. We may delight and be able to rejoice in the same. God has been good to us every time we encounter and we look at his word. So I don't take it for granted that I'm sharing this word with you this morning. I want to share with us about the race of faith uh, this particular morning for about five minutes. And um, I'll be looking at the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 27 uh, all the way to uh, 20. To 30. The Bible says this for Philippians chapter 1 verse 27. Whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel. And then whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God, and, and that by God, for it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him, since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. The rest of faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, yet not seen. And the, the rest of faith is full of many things, viewers. Tomorrow, today, as you listen to me, you are a person of faith, trusting God that God will open a door that is closed. You are trusting God to move mountains in your favor. It's a race of faith. The book of Philippians and many book of uh, uh, episodes that are written by Paul are written by Paul when he's in prison, like this book of uh, Philippians. So he alludes to the suffering of the people, to even to his suffering, but he encourages them to hold firm to their faith. And I want to encourage you this morning that in faith, we actually encourage to hold firm to the God that has been able to hold, to be able to, 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 to call us. He says, whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worth of the gospel of Christ. He's asking them that please hold firm and know that Christ is the center of your faith. And then he says, whenever I come or I do not come, still trust God. For many of us, we are uh, people of faith. And sometimes we get discouraged because people didn't visit you. There are people that you have esteemed, didn't call you when you had a very urgent um, situation, maybe a bereavement, maybe you are sick, or just a celebration that you intended some people to be there for. Let me tell you, the rest of faith is based on Christ, not on circumstances. Our faith is based on the word of God. Our faith is based on who God says we are, not on what people say. And I want to encourage you as you wake up to go and do something or you are doing something and you're wondering whether God is with you, God is still with you. The rest marked for you, it is marked by Christ. It's a rest which God has called us to hold firm to him. And we can encourage ourselves amid this of circumstances. The rest itself is not a sprint. It, it, it is a marathon. It's a race that we will run and run and run every day. How should we run? You must run with perseverance. You must run with people as a person of hope. You must run knowing that God is walking with you. So I want to encourage you this morning as you listen the rest of faith is a rest, my brother. More than 42 kilometers is a long mile marked from now that we will run until Christ come. May you run the full rest of Christ, knowing that he is the author and the finisher of your faith. May you understand that God is in your situation. And when things happen and they are not working in your favor, you find that this is a down, down and a zigzag of many things, so emotional and many things. Trust in the Lord. Look unto him and he will be able to, to guide you. I want to pray with you this morning. And if you are discouraged, I encourage you, look unto God and you will be blessed. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I thank you for our viewers. I thank you for all our listeners. Lord, as we come before you, I pray that we may run the race of faith, knowing that you are our God, knowing that you are our order. You are the one that walks with us, oh God, in every situation, oh God. Pray that you bless each one of us. Those who are discouraged, be encouraged. Those who are looking unto you for open doors, doors will be open. Those who are looking for promotion, promotion may come in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldorat TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldorat. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldorat. And our website is eldorat.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.